Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Virgo, this is going to be your weekend love reading for the 23rd, 23rd through the 26th of June. This is a love reading, so please be mindful. It's general, okay? So it may or may not resonate for all of you. All right. Virgo, let's get started. See what the love messages are for the weekend coming up for you in love. What does Virgo need to know? What are the messages for Virgo? Okay. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Oh, okay. You have the hanged man. So, hmm. A new perspective. Hmm, seeing things differently. I feel like getting or getting or having an open mind over the weekend. Okay, this is Piscean energy. So, hmm, seeing things differently. What could this be about? Somebody seeing things differently this weekend, it's making some changes. Okay, Six of Swords. Hmm, thinking about traveling perhaps over the weekend. Um, somebody's having a change of change of perspective, change of mind. I'm hearing actually plans have changed. I'm on my way. Okay. So, hmm, who could that be? Um, somebody's getting some faith, facing their fears, and doing something, going somewhere, coming out of some type of chaotic, emotional, tumultuous waters getting into more calmer waters it might be a trip somebody's changing their mind about about a trip okay and is is actually taking a trip okay going somewhere let's see okay so there's communication happening over this weekend hey i've changed my mind i in fact i will go or i will come Okay, um, so this might be a phone call. Either you're you're calling somebody or texting someone or receiving it um, about a changed mind about a trip. Yes, I'm gonna do this. Yes, okay. Um, or if there wasn't an invite, this is kind of like a reach out and saying, "Hey, I'm coming your way," or "I'm gonna be at your house," or you know, "Let's do something." Um, things have changed. Plans have changed. Interesting. All right, let's see. Okay. Six of Wands. Wow, this is shocking. Tower. This is shocking energy coming in here. Um, Virgo, um... This kind of feels like an unexpected message over the weekend where somebody's changing their mind about something and, and yes, they're they're going to do it. Whether that's travel or somebody's been hesitant or stuck, couldn't make up their mind, they're having like a light bulb moment, could be you. And it's like, yeah, we're gonna do this. Yes, I'm gonna do this, okay? This is like victory. Um, hmm, somebody got their Okay, this is kind of like they're telling me like a um, a bolt to the ego, like a. <laughs> this is crazy. Somebody very much up in their ego and being kind of like. It's weird. It's like coming down off their high horse. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody's coming down off their high horse. Um, like spirit is, this is like, boom, like a wow. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I can feel the energy. It's, it's like this person, I feel like they were in this, you know, my ish don't stink or, you know, I'm a big shot or whatever. And, you know, universe comes in and strikes them down and like a wake up call. That's what I feel like somebody here is having kind of a wake up call. Like 
and changing their mind and saying yes to something. Okay. What other energies are playing out here for you, Virgo? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's this feels like it's going to be a surprise. Yeah. A decision. Somebody's making a decision. Okay. Um this is crazy. Oh my gosh, Virgo. There might have been somebody who was very non-committal, tremendously non-committal. Like this person was all up in fantasy land and, you know, they couldn't get themselves into a mindset of happily ever after. And this person is coming through with this happily ever after. Like, I don't know, it just feels like this isn't, you know, this is a shock to you. I feel like you're going to hear from somebody or maybe it's you making your mind up about doing something, you know, and you're kind of getting off your high horse and like, all right, fine, I'll do it. I'll, yes, I want to, not fine, but like, yes, I want to do this, you know, but mostly I feel like this is the energy that's playing out for you. So if you're, <clears throat> if you're making your mind up about doing something great, but this feels like another person here who was just kind of like, either had commitment issues or they just didn't want to they may be just very stubborn and they prefer to just have the fantasy rather than the actual like the real thing and it feels like this person's like spirits coming down and some kind of something major is happening to this person that's kind of giving them this wake-up call so i said pisces the tower could be Aries or Scorpio. So yeah, this person is like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? It has come, is like coming in here and making this decision. Oh my gosh, page of cups. <clears throat> yeah, this person's like overflowing with emotion. You know, um, first there's gonna be some type of communication you know, um, I've thought about it or, you know, I, I see things differently. You're not going to know that this person is getting hit with the, like a tower moment. This is something that's happening to them. Okay. Where I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this person felt like they were just kind of always seeking applause or attention, or they were just in a position where they were getting a lot of, t and like, it's like, boom, that's just not working or that's not enough for this person, okay? So this is kind of like something here that's happening to this person separately, okay? Um, and also the wake up call is like, this person feels like they wanna be like, have victory with you, okay? Page of Cups, definitely gonna be some type of communication, you know, um, if you've had somebody blocked, like it's kind of stirring them up to like they're thinking about you more and they're overwhelmed with emotion and love. I feel like they're going to volunteer their their feelings. This is like a tidal wave of emotion here. Okay, definitely going to be communicating with you first about, hey, I'm going to be coming your way, and then talking about, like, I've been thinking about things, and I'm really sorry, it could be an apology, and I want to connect with you, and I'm ready, I want to be together. I mean, it's very much, it's like a total happily ever after, okay? Now, this might not play out for all of you this weekend, so don't get upset, because every weekend I do a reading, but somebody's going to get this energy, okay? If it's not already happening... All right, let's see if there's any other messages for the weekend for you guys. Any other messages for Virgo? Wow, oh my God. Oh, the Ace of Cups. This is like a weekend of love. A weekend of love, Virgo. Um, this is like a brand new beginning in love. I mean, your heart is going to be like, holy, are you serious with this? Is this like, this is like shocking. Uh, you're not expecting this or you were hoping for somebody to make a change or see things differently or they were just very stubborn and 
maybe they couldn't express their emotions or they struggled to express their feelings well like this is going to happen very quickly with the ace of cups five of wands yeah somebody's like feeling left out in the cold um fighting some pretty heavy battles i feel like this person um whoever they are is in this energy of like i gotta fight my way back i gotta get back to virgo i need to connect with virgo um they're not in a good place you know and they may not have been and this wake up call i feel like this tower moment i wouldn't be surprised if the judgment card shows up because i feel like this person is like light major light bulb to the crown chakra major light bulb yeah look what's the light bulb the three of swords heartbroken um feeling the loss okay what are you doing virgo okay you're in sitting here in anxiety you have some stress you don't know this is happening okay you don't know that this energy is is going to be playing out with this person and i feel like right now you're in anxiety about this okay because you don't know like whether you're coming or going you're kind of like even if you do know you're just nine of swords ten of wands like you're physically and mentally exhausted okay you're on the verge of a mental breakdown in your life because of somebody who i feel like was just really not seeing the light or not not really recognizing their feelings for you a hundred percent their feelings okay we have sagittarius energy here so yeah this person well you're definitely trying to balance yourself you're trying to get more balanced I mean, I don't really feel like you have anything to worry about. I feel like you've been healing in private. Um, so we have Pisces again. But I don't feel like you have anything to be really concerned. If you're over worrying or overthinking um, about what someone's going to do. Or if anybody, if like some of you are like, you know, I've walked away from this relationship. But, you know, my heart's still there. I'm still struggling. There's still residual. Um, you know, some of you are already with someone new and, you know, you're really trying to have this newness and this new love, you know, um, and some of you aren't looking back on the past and you're just trying to heal and get away from this energy. Um, that could be all of you. That could just be some of you. But I definitely feel Virgo like whoever the stubborn person was in the past, you know, or if you're dealing right now with someone who's very stubborn and they're not sharing anything with you and you're like oh we keep we're, we've been dating for a while and i don't know what's going on and this person's like you know is not agreeing or they just keep putting me off or they just keep delaying um well that seems to be changing here okay yeah, you just kind of, you've been feeling like breadcrumbed by somebody. Like they're just really, they're giving just enough for you to, you know, get a loaf of bread. <laughs> I mean, they're just like, they're maybe they're just giving you, they've been giving you the crumbs, you know, and you've just been like, all right, I'm just going to keep saving these crumbs and I can build myself a loaf. You know, you've just been like, uh, you don't want nothing to do. Some of you just went quiet. You went into like, um... Uh, you know, I always feel like the hermit is the male version of Virgo, and I always feel like the high priestess is the female version of Virgo, right? So in that feminine energy, you know, you're you're like trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. You're not seeking wisdom because you already know, right? The high priestess, like the hermit, the hermit goes within and kind of isolates and then seeks wisdom and um inspiration and um that kind of thing but the high priestess is like no i already i'm already aware of this situation like i know how i'm feeling I, i'm like i trust myself it's a struggle and i have a lot of anxiety and maybe some nightmares there's a lot of mental conflict i'm physically exhausted it's affecting my work but you know i'm 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 
some of you have just gone within to seek balance and try to get yourselves in like a much better position here um but you know that somebody's been breadcrumbing you but i feel like virgo this person is seeing things differently and something in their life is happening that is causing this i don't know if it's some kind of accident or they become homeless you know or something they were at the top of their game and then you know their their ego is shot and they're not a big shot anymore you know and now they're kind of like oh, my shit really does stink like nobody's paying attention to me nobody really is interested and virgo is the only one who's like really giving me um putting in effort and really giving me that time of day you know and it's like that's what i feel like this person is just it just feels like their their ego it's like a like a like a shock to the ego okay yeah a lot of you have just been like with the knight of pentacles things are just going so slow i mean slower than like a snail in molasses you know this person and you're just uh, virgo you're like trying to come out of this and uh, virgo i feel like you know you're in a position now where you're like let me just see what else is out there because like you've been waiting and you're just like i can't keep doing this and i've been waiting for this person and yeah you know, now i'm like no longer waiting for them now i'm seeing who else might be out there you know and guess what this person is like hey calling you up sending you a message reaching out you know they've had a change of heart things are different they you know they may tell you that they realize that they're not that big of a deal and nobody's paying attention to them you know and some of you like oh well whatever that's your problem <laughs> but i just kind of feel like uh, some of you are just mm -mm, you're not going you know you're not doing anything here let me see what other before i pull all right so what they said let me oh there you go okay for some of you yeah this person is coming in wanting another chance if you've been seeing this person or dating this person and it's like going nowhere and you're kind of like you got your foot out the door and you just for some of you it could be a past person but you got your foot out the door you, you know you intuition you already know the answer you seek and um some of you are just like it's not going anywhere i give up surrender moving on it's whatever i'm not pursuing i'm not putting effort into this anymore and now this person you know coming in wants another chance or whoever it is that you were dating they, you know they're really trying to put the effort in here okay that's great good for them okay see you're doing the self-care thing clear your energy field and focus on yourself right before acting so uh, this is a soulmate connection here your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally so lean on your inner circle during this time virgo so i kind of feel like you are you know trying to take care of people places and things in your life at this time you know and i don't know i, I just feels like a a wake-up call a shock to the system this person is just they might have been really not putting a lot of effort or pursuing the relationship with you because maybe they just thought they could have anybody they want and they were taking advantage of you you know or they or it maybe it just made you feel that way whether they were doing that i don't i don't know if that person was doing that but i definitely feel like with the six of wands way up in that ego okay i lost myself for a little while I couldn't let you get close to me. That's what the issue was happening with this person. And I left before you could leave me. So even if you, they, this person didn't physically leave you, they may have like energetically left the relationship and you've been like, you said you're going to call and then they don't call. And then it's like three or four days go by or however long. And you're just like, I've had enough, you know? And now I feel like this person's like, oh, wait a minute. Something happened to them or something is happening to them. Like their world is crashing down, whether that's physically, mentally, emotionally, geographically, things aren't going well for this person. Like it's not that, you know, 
or it's just a sudden thing that happens or they wake up or they they realize like wow you know I'm not people really aren't maybe when they were younger people were really like they could get a lot of attention garner a lot of tension but it doesn't seem like that's really happening for this person <laughs> I know some of you must be laughing in the in the the live chat about this because I can just hear it some of you must be like ha, you know you're so vindictive but it's just what it is you know I feel you leaving me behind see Virgo this person's like they sense definitely that you're like ah, I'm out of here that's it I'm not pursuing if you're not pursuing or you're not meeting me halfway yada 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 I'm leaving and they feel it and now they're having like this Either they feel you're leaving and that's what the wake up call is and their world's crashing down or their world is crashing down upon them and you're already out the door and it's like, oh my God, they have nobody. They don't have anybody. Let's take a look and see what the Chinese sign is of this person. What is this person's Chinese sign? Okay, so year of the monkey okay we have a year of the pig year of the goat year of the rat double pig year of the rooster double rat year of the ox i'll get two more we got rooster again year of the tiger and ox again and year of the dragon. So that could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you, it could be none of you. You know, the message is for whoever the message is for, okay? Um, if the rest of the story resonates, then that's for you. All right, I just wanna get a couple other cards here. Let me see, what other messages are there here for Virgo this weekend? So basically, you know, a shocking message, like somebody's coming, they're either coming back or it's someone that you're currently connected with and there's like a wake up call like oh you know um either way like whether it's a past person maybe you already left and they're just realizing now that you're actually gone you could have left a while ago i mean hello took you long enough or not you the other person or you're with them and you're just like not bothering to return the calls or text back or any or go meet them or you're just like delaying okay the phoenix new phase rekindling renewing a renewal transformation growth and a changed freaking mind there you go that's what i said somebody's got a new perspective and they're changing their mind and i feel like you're going to hear from this person about this over the weekend it's for some of you it's like what where did this person are you freaking kidding me where did this person come from they just came like out of the blue like all of a sudden just like that what happened i feel like virgo you're going to be more curious about this than shocked really like at first the message is going to be a shock that that they're but then i feel like you're going to be what what the heck you know healing heart that's what i just saw here Okay, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Maybe you were involved in a toxic connection with this person or they got their shit together or they were in a toxic situation and they, you know, getting it all to getting their, getting themselves straightened out. Okay, all right. Healthy choices. There you go. Making healthy choices and loving in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. So... Virgo, I mean, you just, I can't with these messages. It's like exactly what I was saying. You know, this person is like healing whatever this, maybe an addiction or some type of toxic behavior. They could have been like a serial dater or just very immature, you know, or whatever the energy was. And now making healthier cho choices, like the phoenix is rising. I'm telling you this tower, there's a, some, you know how like, like a tower, you know, like, when something major happens, 
it's like life changing. You know, this is an exception to the rule. First, I feel like I have to keep it honest, okay? Not all of you are gonna get this message, okay? Let me just be very clear, not all of you. Maybe like if there's say 25, 30,000 views on this, maybe 1%, all right? So, you know, it's a jackpot sometimes, you know? It's a, it's a general reading. You know, if anything, let's be happy for the people that this is happening to, you know, because there's some people here are just like, this is what I wanted. I've needed this person. This is my person. And, but I couldn't wait around and I needed them to get, you know, get themselves together. And this is like, holy, like you can't even believe it. So wherever you go, whatever you're doing this weekend, you know, go out and enjoy your weekend anyway, whatever's going on with you, whether this message is for you, but somebody here is getting the love call that's what i said and this like spirit is talking right to me today somebody here is this love call is coming in phone call you know a text of some sort somebody wants to talk to you expressing their love a message of love thinking of you letting you know oh my god Virgo. all right let's get some let's get some some numbers and charms here okay so we have Scorpio Sagittarius Capricorn a Scorpio again all right so we've got okay all right September 4th September 11th September 1st September 12th, um, September 6th, we have 1111. Okay, this is Twin Flame for sure. Um, might have been Twin Flames and Separation or some type of, for some of you, it's a soulmate. For others, it's a Twin Flame connection. Um, let's see what other signs we have. So, Double Scorpio and Capricorn and Double Capricorn. Okay, Sagittarius double Capricorn again and a Taurus okay um, okay now we have Pisces Aries Taurus again and Scorpio again all right I'm gonna give it one more for the signs okay Virgo Scorpio again Gemini and Taurus so all right somebody's born in six, 1966 um let's see we've got november 4th january 1st april 11th um february 1st okay um somebody is born in 1960 okay let me get a couple more okay august 22nd that's a new one i think that's leo could be on the cusp though of um leo virgo somebody could be on the cusp of leo virgo we have august 26th okay somebody's 51 um area code 910 uh 701 or 710 um 6227 is a number or a phone number numbers in a phone number six two two seven okay and somebody is born in 1971 1980 birth date okay somebody's 35 august 23rd um 1965 September 8th um, okay so many all right so we have ages 51 52 53 I'm just getting that and now I've got a phone number 8010 okay did I say the age 35 okay I'm not sure if I I think I said that 35 um, 
and also 312, I feel like that is an important number, 312, and then, oh, they're just giving me June 2nd and August 10th, okay. So if those, if they resonate for you, great. If not, as I said, doesn't mean the reading's not for you. Let me get a couple of charms. And then I'm going to close out your, your reading. Okay. Summertime is going to be very important. Here we have the sun. It's also Leo energy. Summer love. <laughs> a love fling. Summer solstice. I think we just started that on the 21st. So that's the start of all this new love energy coming in. This weekend is going to be like really you're going to be feeling it over this weekend we also have a heart with a rose beautiful somebody's getting a box of okay either a chocolate rose or is there's like a heart a heart shaped box of candy i mean who would do that where would you even get that it's not even valentine's day or anything um <laughs> oh okay they just said somebody's been holding on to a box of valentine's chocolates I don't know what that means. Maybe you put some stuff in the box. Might not be any chocolate in it. Oh, okay. So we have a flower with a diamond in it. So this might be somebody's necklace or you're receiving like a, a gift, piece of jewelry. You might be receiving some kind of gift. Okay, um, somebody's bringing you a gift. It's either like a box, a heart-shaped box of some sort. Either you have one or you're, either you're giving it or you're receiving it and also some type of like piece, a charm or a jewel. Either you're getting it or you're giving it. You actually might have that on you right now. And then we've got a butterfly. And actually, they just told me somebody has a butterfly sticker on their car. You might have a tattoo as well, but I think th this is more specific. Somebody has a butterfly sticker, like either on their window, their car window, or on their car somewhere. Very beautiful. And also, last but not least, there's a unicorn. Okay, so this is a very unique, magical weekend coming here for someone. Now, maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's a message for someone you're close to. You might get here from someone you know. Um, if you don't get a love call specifically to you over this weekend, you may hear from a friend who reaches out to you and says, guess who called me? Okay, and that's like a side message for some of you. Um, so you could be like by proxy this reading for somebody else. They just told me to, to say that. Okay, not that that's predictive of the whole reading, but they said somebody that's listening is going to hear about that. Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading here. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't know what to say. It, it looks kind of good for those of you who are currently in something where you were about to walk out the door, you were just giving up and somebody's having a, a wake up call about that. And for others, this could be someone that you were connected to before who's, you know, like, oh, damn. <laughs> Nobody wants me. Will, you, will Virgo have me back? <laughs> Virgo's like, I don't think so. I just got my nails done. I just got my hair done. I'm just moving on. See ya. Keep it, keep it real later. <laughs> All right, Virgo, have a great weekend. I love you guys. And then we'll see you back here Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to pop in the live stream and get a little mini reading from me. I'll be here for an hour or two, and then I will see you Sunday evening. So have a great weekend, you guys. Bye.